Hello, and welcome to Rius. It's a little god game. You're a god, and you get to control some giants, and uh, help humanity survive and progress if they want to and stuff. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the, the start of this, because I, I went into it and it was very, very kind of slow for the beginning. So I'm just going to kind of show you what happens uh, in the second era because it, it's the more interesting part really. So um, here we go. This game is currently on uh, Steam as a deal, or it was when I recorded it, don't know if it still is now, uh, as I'm going to release this a little while after I've played and bought it obviously. So this is the second era of Rius. It doesn't mean anything really from the first to the second. The first is basically that you it just teaches you the very, very bitter basics. Bitterly slow. Uh, the second era. Once again, you have awoken from your slumber. You're the planet, by the way. You find your surface dry and barren. You recall a time when you used your giants to create oceans and forests. You gather all your strength again so the ocean giant and the forest giant can reawaken. That's the ocean giant there, and this is the forest giant. Hello, hello, how are you doing? You sense a faint spark of life somewhere deep down below. Is it asking for a surface to live on? Let's find out. Use the forest giant and the ocean giant to raise a forest of at least 10 patches. Okay then. So to do that, you need this guy, the ocean giant, and you need to create an ocean. Which, uh, if you read that there, it says creating an ocean on a village will destroy it. Yep. Pretty obvious that, I thought. And this little guy can only ever build forests if there's water nearby, I believe. But the forest only lasts if there's water nearby. So, let's get him working on a forest. We don't really need much in the way of water, do we? Let's uh, see how far that... That forest spread. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so let's make a, a big lot of land here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 ish. So go over here, buddy, please. And create an ocean there. He'll slowly move around. As you can see, all you have to do is click and turn. Scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Nice simple controls, nothing too hard. You can use the arrow keys if you want to, but there's not really any point because it's quicker to just use point and click and stuff and rotate. And uh, I did actually record the first era, but I didn't remember to program my recording stuff to actually pick up my voice. So it was just me doing this a lot. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, because I was spinning the world right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby, round, 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 round? Anyway, look at him go! See, he was trying to build for us there, it didn't work, did it? That's because he got no water! Now there's water. He's gonna make a forest, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, you are. Look at him go. And there's a little bit in the middle. Can we get that too, please? No? Oh, it said no. Oh, shouldn't really leave a wasteland in the middle there. Stuff it, let's make this... Uh, where should we make it really suitable for life? Should we just deepen this... Yeah, let's just deepen this ocean a bit more. A teeny little bit more, we don't want it too... <laughs> we don't want it too wet. So hopefully that is that ten patches? That's gotta be ten patches. That's a lot of the planet. Oh, that didn't really work. Let's try again. Poof. Magic! I also was saying in the episode that you're never gonna see, because I just deleted it. This guy looks like a monkey, so I named him Monkey Head. And this guy was crab face. Because he's got a, like a face of a crab. Anyway! Next on the tutorial. Well done, you sense a change. Somewhere in a cave, something small has awakened. 
You sense a new spark of life flowing through your core, and it seems your forest giant has gained a new ability. Let's have a look what that is. Fruit plant. The forest giant makes a plant rise from the ground. Fruit plants give food. With a cooldown of 30 seconds. Use the forest giant's fruit plant ability to plant some plants in the forest. I think I will do that. Why is that glowing so much? Is that just because that's where he stood? I think it is. Is there no... I, I won't spoil anything. We should just plant some plants. Look at that. Lovely blueberries. Look at them. They're so blue. Look at how much I can zoom in. I can always see under his skirt. Can't we, monkey head? Huh? Whoa! So it's high path tribe settled. They're on a higher plane of existence right now. Living with some gods. Use the forest giant's fruit plant ability to plant some plants in front. Yes, okay, we've done that. Did he just sneeze? Well, isn't that weird? As soon as the humans settle, all their thoughts and feelings flow back into you. Oh. It would be wise to learn as much from these humans as you can. Okay, let's just watch them then. Where's their... Okay, there we go. That's the reach of their village, the blue line. In the crust of the earth. Click on a village to see the village. Blah, blah, blah. Each bunker is the... the uh, End and beginning and end of the village, basically. Placing plants, animals, somewhere in the rules within the village borders will generate resources. Villages want to grow by using food, wealth, and technology provided by me, which means I'm going to give them broadband, apparently, with all my industrially amazing technology advances. To not ne ne logical. Okay, let's put some plants in the corners. You can tap control to cycle through the information that comes up below here. So, I'll just show you what that is. So, that's basically saying what they need, what they have, sorry, three, four now, and what they potentially could have. And once they get to, I think, ten, or whatever the limit is, the village will grow. This info here, which I just tapped control for, I have no idea about, but it basically says these guys are happy, and these are leaves. And then that's the attack force of our village how happy they are, and the life force of the village. So in case another village attacks, we have health to repel it, which is nice. Right. Okay, so the blueberries providing five food, and the maximum food villagers can use is five. No, it's not, it's ten, but I've planted two blueberry bushes, so that's fine. The village's resources can be viewed by selecting the village, or just tapping control. You can see how much food is being used, the number before the slash. And how much food there is available, which I've just said, yeah. Let's place some more fruit plants within the borders to see how it affects the villagers. They grow quicker. Look at them building houses. Those are some properly good tents. My friend Nathan can't build a tent that good, even if his life depended on it. As you can also see in the village panel, these two blueberries are now generating ten food. This will eventually lead to ten food being put to use. Let's see what happens when they put food to use. The bigger the difference between food and use and the food in the borders, the faster the food and use will grow. So basically, the more plants we put inside out the village borders, the quicker they're going to grow. That has already moved forward, hasn't it? Because we put those on the very outskirts of the village. See if you can raise the food in use above 13 using the fruit plant ability. So, I don't know where the fruit in use is. That's the only thing. I feel kind of a little bit stupid. Let's plant some more fruit in the corners and then see if they build any more houses going outwards. Uh, it's above 15. Food in use. I thought that was the number before the slash, didn't they just say? So, as soon as that gets to 13, we'll be allowed to advance. In the meantime, let's continue making Camino, shall we? Make you make some more water. This can be the only... Camino is supposed to be a planet covered with water. Not an, a, like a type of planet covered with water, but um, in Star Wars fiction, uh, it's a planet where all of the stormtroopers are made, basically. All of the clones. Look at him go. Go crab face. Monkey head, you're doing quite well, but you still got two food for them to use. So hurry it up. Okay? One more. Come on, you can do this. Believe in yourself. Any time now would be good. I'm ready to go. I kind of feel like they should be expanding this way. 
What happens if we plant a bush outside? What do you think will happen? Do you think when they expand, they'll get instantly more food? Maybe we're just tempting them to grow too quickly. As this is a god game. Well done. The village is growing and the people are gaining knowledge. They've started building something of their own. What's this? The villagers started building a granary and they need your help. Build the Building the granary project has allowed the villagers to gain a specialization. Click on the project patch to view its specialization in the corner. Mushroom eaters plus 15 food for each mineral within the borders. We haven't touched minerals yet. So this civilization wants to build and maintain a granary. It needs 20 food to do that, so we need some more blueberry bushes. The specialization requires minerals to provide its boost. Your giants lack the skills to create the minerals. Completing the project could remedy this, so let's help the humans. Above the specialization tab, you'll see the project's objectives. This project requires a large amount of food and use to be completed, which is where we've got extra bushes here. This would be no easy task. Luckily, it seems the ocean giant has now grown stronger and gained a new ability. Use the ocean's domesticate animals ability in the forest. So we're going to give them domestic animals. Clicking on here, where have they got room for it? Now, I know that because I've been a bit cheeky, every bush of blueberries nearby gains some extra food if uh, there are chickens, from what that symbol says, next to it. So I'm guessing what they do is they use these blueberries to feed the chickens, which then get fat off the blueberries, and then they eat the chickens because they're more substance than the blueberries. Even though blueberries is good at blueberries are good at antioxidizing stuff. So uh, they're very good for you. Eat blueberries. Uh, we're just waiting for Crabface here. Come on. Have you learned anything new? No! You can't even do anything anymore! What's going on? You're useless! It seems the ocean giant has now grown... Oh, okay, so we've done that. All animals have an area of effect. Click on the animals to view their range and light it. They light up the range like nobody... I've done that too many times now. Singing that stupid song. Um, yeah, I saw it, sung it once. Great. It's out there forever. Click on the patch of chickens to view their statistics in the right corner. So basically, plus three food if blueberries are within the animal range. So that's lots of food, as we can see beneath there. Look at that. Loads of food. So then they're on 18 out of 27. That's more than enough to get this granary done. Placing chickens in the blueberries will create lots of symbiosis for the chickens. Where is the symbiosis? Where does that come in? Range of the animal? Um, whoa! The granary is completed! An ambassador wants to join you! Okay, there we go. All the blah blah blah, create... Blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you for giving us chickens! So this is an ambassador. Because of your positive influence, the villagers have decreed their ambassador to join you. The ambassador wishes to climb upon the shoulders of your giants and increase their strength. Well, that's pretty cool. Make my giant stronger. Oh, you haven't met this guy yet. This is Flathead, the mountain giant. Rock giant, sorry. But he's in need of a new ability. It's like the rock giant. With the right mouse button, press the text bubble above the ambassador to pick him up. Yoink. He's looking a bit anxious about this. He's got a hairy chest. <gasps> tickle, 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 tickle. God, wouldn't they think there's an earthquake or something? Uh, it's a giant doing that. There we go. Picked him up. He's standing on the flat head of flat head. Well done. The ambassador sprint spirit has unlocked new abilities within the rock giant. Uh, the rock giants can raise mountains, by the way, which is pretty cool. They can also create deserts to stop, uh, because it stops the rain going from the ocean over the mountain, so it creates a desert. Anyway, uh, precious minerals, the rock giant has makes minerals rise from the ground. Precious minerals provide wealth. So this is like diamonds and stuff. So let's give them, where are their borders? Let's have food one side and minerals another, shall we? Let's put them outside the village radius. That's too far outside. No, I want to do it here. Thump! Look at that. Oh, you can even see it underground. Look at that. 
It's amazing. Lovely and purple. Give them some colour in their lives. The Ambassador Spirit has unlocked new abilities within the Rock Giant. Select the patch within the granary to view the specialisations. Where's the patch within there? Mushroom Eaters plus... yeah? Okay, we've done that. What am I missing? What is this village's specialization? Specialization allows the villagers to gain extra... Oh, Mushroom Eaters plus food for each mineral within the borders. So we're just trying to increase the amount of borders. Uh, the size of the borders. Place some minerals within the villagers' borders to boost their resources. Be careful not to break any symbiosis. So we don't want to erase these blueberry bushes, we just want to use what we already have. This village should expand soon as well, hopefully. Thud. There we go, look at that! Frickin' diamonds everywhere! And look, they've got... now they've got a cash flow going on. Place some minerals within the village's border, yep. Okay, done, next. Transmutations. This mineral is still locked. Try to develop humans differently to unlock it. Salt. Transmutes with a lesser seismic aspect or a lesser crystal aspect. Salt is very versatile and can be used for ore, food, wealth and technology. Well, salt is very useful. It's also a very strange film with Angelina Jolie. Where she's a spy. Russian spy or not, as the case may be. Don't want to spoil it for you. The village has grown and developed greatly since you awakened. But you sense there is still life roaming, ro still life roaming your surface, hoping to find a place to settle. So we've got some nomads somewhere. Create a desert. Raise a desert of ten patches using the rock giant's raise mountain ability. Be sure to do this far away from any forest or ocean as possible. Why would we do that? Okay, so let's go to what as far away from as possible. Let's just go over here, shall we? You can do it, buddy. Let's raise a mountain over here. You are my mountain! This is a sea! There is the core of a planet called me. Um, if you clever there, with some beautiful music. <clears throat> so they've they've advanced to the to mineral, by the looks of things. Haven't they? Yep, there we go! Now they've got more minerals. 16. Beautiful. They're gonna have lots of money. People are going to be so rich. I wonder what happens when they expand so far that they go to the sea. I wonder if you can get cities in this. That'll be interesting. Come on, you're almost there. Look at that little guy sat on top of his head. No, I don't want to zoom to the crotch. Why would I zoom to the crotch? Crotch zoom! Beautiful. I think this guy would win in a fight between these two. Just to... Just to guess, really. But look at this, this is what he does. He's like Magneto with Earth. What? Yeah, that's crazy, right? Look at that! You even got trees on there. That didn't happen before. But there is now a desert. So we've got two... ten patches. Is that ten patches? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably. Use the Ocean Giant's domestic animals ability to place some animals in the largest desert. Make sure there is enough desert for the village to settle. If a village is not setting, there is not enough space, or there are no resources nearby. So I wonder... I'm guessing everything right of the mountain dries, and everything left doesn't. So, should we build another mountain here, do you think? Could be a good idea. I wonder what happens to this other mountain. If we put water in the middle, what'll happen? So let's go to... Where is he? Come here, monkey head. Place a lovely fruit plant. Oh, wait. No, not you. Don't need you. I need crab face. Place some chickens in the desert. Let's make some random... weird chickens. Place them in the desert, and maybe... Just maybe... We can turn you into velociraptors. Which are technically not existent, apparently, according to science. And that they were only used in that film, Jurassic Park. I wonder what happens if we try and build a mountain on another mountain. Oh, it doesn't happen. Okay. What if we build a mountain on the other side of the mountain? Well, this is what happens if you're curious. The ocean vibrates. Oh, and it's a little bit green. 
That's lovely. Beautiful. I wonder if a village sets there. That'd be kind of funny. There might not be enough space. What are you talking about? There's plenty of space. Is he cold? Really? Come on, get into the desert. Make you nice and warm. We should have probably put the village in between the two mountains, huh? To make sure there was no water. You made monkeys. Those are not... Like... Dinosaurs. Oh, what's going on? Light Valley settled. Hello, Light Valley. These guys are like... Crazy with their... Stone, is that? I don't even know. Make sure the... Uh, use the... Oh, we've already done that. Next. Excellent! A new village has settled in the desert. You sense it will start a new project soon. Do I? How do I know that? Whoa, what is this? The shrine challenge has started. Let's have a look at the, the village's specialization. Oh. Where am I looking? Specialization. Danger of danger defense. Oh wait, these uh peaceful village. No influenced by danger. And they respect the giants, that's a good thing. Shrine. It's being built by this Pius I can't say that word. Pius. Pius. There we go. <laughs> Said Pisces, that makes no sense. Desert herders, plus food for each animal within the borders. So they don't rely on plants at all because they're all dead, basically. So let's plant lots and lots of chicken. So let's just keep planting them everywhere. Oh, I just did that too fast, didn't I? Oh, did I? Oh, no, it seems okay. Oh, it's got the cooldown of 30 seconds, that's fine. Okay, so we've looked at the specialization. They activate when a project starts being built. Be sure to check back the specialization when a new project starts. Because otherwise it could affect your other stuff and it will go crazy. Okay, lovely. Kangaroo rats. Those are kangaroo rats? They look more like monkeys. They generate one food for each patch in their range. The specialization is providing an extra plus five food for each animal. This project also requires wealth. So we'll need... The rock giant's precious minerals. Where are you? Come here, buddy. You're gonna place some precious minerals on the right side of the village. Keep them nice and separate so you know what you're doing in case, you know, you need to rush back to the village. Doesn't hurt to be organized. Does it? Come on. Come on, flathead. Where are these things' mouths for the giants? I wonder if they eat anything. Just feast on villagers. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did you? We're just fattening you up. Come here, ambassador, you pig. Chomp. But then again, humans are kind of tiny. Ooh, they got gold under there. Crikey. The rock giant's precious minerals, minerals ability within the... Yep, done that. Lovely. The quartz you created only generates 10 wealth. This will slowly lead to 10 wealth in use. We can increase this by making sure the villagers activate the mineral. How do they do that? Let's find out. Minerals can generate far more resources if they are activated. Click on the mineral to view the requirements to be activated. Oh, we had. Okay. Activates symbiosis with 5 wealth in use. If tech, uh, if tech is next to stone. Okay. Okay, so we need to place lots of minerals together. Is that that? What that means? What is he doing? He's dancing. Okay. Raise the wealth in use above five to activate the quartz. Placing a second quartz may also assist you doing this. Well, it's in five. It's in use now. But we may as well use some more precious minerals. Why can't we put it there? Will that destroy the city? Let's put it right in the boundary. See if that works. If it doesn't, it will make them strive to get there. Poof. Look at that. What is that? It's just a, a hole. With like snow at the end. I can't even, I can't zoom into that very well. Well done. Quartz is now activated. These quartzes will have also... What are you doing? You're distracting. Um, these will have a symbiosis which can now give even more wealth. Brilliant. Let's continue improving this village until we can finish its project. Which was... 
use lots of wealth. They got all the food, they just need the wealth. Should we make them grow a bit more? I want them to hurry up. Hurry up and expand. Burrower, plus two food. If mineral is within its range. What's the range? Oh, it's the... not, not much. So it's two either side. So really, we could do with you being over here. Placing maybe some minerals just in the outskirts. Let's place... oh. I didn't think this through. Undo. Oh, just put it there then. And you put a chicken here. Trust me on this. I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna smack the other giant on the head. Great, so we got some uh, lovely quartz there. More monkeys. Then you can place some more over here, that would be fantastic. And that way these monkeys are having more effect on uh, the minerals. Oh, did I press a mountain? I pressed a mountain. Well, that was stupid. I wonder how I level the field. Whoops. <laughs> you didn't see that. Didn't I say minerals? Am I being an idiot? Just raise that for no apparent reason. Paganism unlocked. Excellent work. You have performed admirably. The humans have strengthened your core. You have learned about villages, resources, specializations, and symbioses. The time for slumber once again has come upon you. And you hope the humans would survive until the next era dawns. Probably not. You can now go and try to lead the humans to different developments in an era game. Developments can now unlock new plants, animals, or minerals and progress you through the game. There is also a third beginning to learn about greed, transmutations, and danger. If you're having any difficulties, you can always select the third beginning in the game select menu. Click to continue and view all the developments you achieved during this game. The second era has been completed, and that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for, for watching, and we'll be playing some more of this, I think, because it's interesting to learn new stuff, really, and see if these villages will ever fight, because we saw there were some battle stats in there. So, uh... Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time, hopefully. Goodbye.